AccuStats Video Productions presents. Hello, my name is Scott Smith, and joining with, joining me today is uh, John Ervolino. We're at Romance High Pockets in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, for this, the first ever uh, senior tour event. John, what do we got in store today? Who are these guys? Oh, we have the greatest matchup. I've waited for this matchup for a long time. Boston Shorty, Mr. Larry Johnson, and Mr. Lou Butera, who I know 40 years. And all I can tell you is it's going to be a pleasure doing this match. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I figured this game was probably a pick in a race to 11 going uh, playing nine ball. Yeah, I would say so. These They've been competing against each other for quite a few years. And uh, I think who gets the, anybody gets a big start is going to make a stronger favorite in this yeah. game. Right now I see this an even match. Mr. Butera won the leg. All right, Machine Gun Lou Buter is going to open up with uh, breaking the first bracket. We have a minor problem we're going to hold up on. Might be looking for a spot or something. I could definitely uh, think of so many little stories. I could talk about these two. We've been together so long, but the, the prettiest one is that I have more hair than both of them, and I think I'm the <laughs> oldest one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Here we go. Libby Chair breaking the balls here. Game number one. It's a race to 11. Once again, we're in uh, Row Mines, High Pockets in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, this is the first ever senior tour uh, nine ball tournament. This tournament, uh, the whole uh, project was conceived by Steve Miserak, who is uh, also a member of the senior tour contingent. But uh, it almost seems like it's been too long coming to me. Well, I'm glad it's finally here. It's nice to see a senior tour in the pool. All right, here we go. So Boston Shorty has uh, just pocketed the one ball played position on the two. Uh, what do you think of this layout here, John? It uh, appears that he has a good chance to go all the way out. Yeah, I, I see the only problem ball I see he might have now would be to get from three to the four if he don't get good on his three ball. Uh, he's cueing the, uh, using the bridge to shoot the two ball. Does he run the risk of hitting the nine there, I wonder? No, well, he... Well, he, uh, he, the cue ball slid below the nine and the four ball. He, uh, he actually has a pretty decent shot on the three. It appears he will cut that in his, to his, uh, his right in that corner pocket. Uh, does he, uh... But he got a little funny on his ball. If he gets straight on the four, he could wind up with a problem. All right, well, the well, speed he... was, uh, the speed was such that he, uh, he, uh, in fact, got an angle on the four ball. Well, he, he just, uh, cues the ball high and follows it down to a... Gave himself a perfect shot. All right, he will uh, proceed to shoot the five in that uh, upper right-hand corner pocket. He cues the ball with a uh, low and left uh, English to come down for the six ball. The seven is on the lower right-hand side of the uh, table. Uh, the eight ball is the only problem that he uh, could encounter, being close to the rail. And uh, but well, the, like difference, the style, the different style of these players is um, I mean, of these kind of players is unbelievable. If they play them well, they play that cue ball so good. It's it's a joke. There's really not much of a spot that this shorty can't get to in round two. Yeah. He <clears throat> that all tenderly. He's going to play this in the corner, won't he, John? Yeah, he'll play this down the corner, and I believe he'll try to get position for the nine in the same pocket that he's shooting the e ball in. Oh, he hit it real nice. Cue ball actually got a little further than you thought. He yeah. has a good shot in the side pocket, and uh, uh, Boston Shorty has taken game number one in a pretty sporty fashion. Just crisply yeah, ran right nice out. And the Saturday afternoon crowd here at Rome Mines applauds its approval, and uh, Boston Shorty takes a one to nothing lead in the race to 11. Uh, both these guys appear to be. Uh, uh, you know, playing pretty good this week. Uh, the only uh, the only st uh, time I saw either of them uh, really get uh, 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 slacking, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Lou Butera had uh, had lost to uh, in Cardona earlier in the uh, tournament, eleven to one. He just really didn't get many chances to play. Yeah. Okay. Well, these two Shorty breaks good. in game two. Go and ahead. he made a ball. God, these balls broke funny. I'd have to agree with that. These, uh, this is, uh, this here is going to be a layout. It looks, appears we're going to have some safety play yeah, coming up here. Definitely some safety play coming on this rack. Oh, he has a shot at the one in the uh, lower right-hand corner pocket. The two ball is uh, 
in the middle of the table, and uh, he can play position on that. He's either going to have to play position on the two to where he might be able to have an angle and break into those balls, uh, or else he uh, probably will be ducking somewhere. Yeah, I don't think he... Will he play I, safe here? No, I don't think he'll play the safe here. I think he'll try to play the safe over the two ball. Okay, he pocketed the uh, one. Now, he's trying to get that angle, Johnny, but it doesn't look like uh, that's what he wants, is it? Well, it's... Uh, it looks like he's going to play that safe here. He could just roll that two ball above the side pocket and bring the cue ball right behind that five. Looks like a perfect angle for it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm seeing him wrong. Well, he's taking another good look at it to see what he's going to do here. All right, he actually pocketed the two ball. This uh, is where he might play the safe. He'll here. play the safe off the four ball. Line. See, I thought he might try to uh, shoot that shot if he got the proper angle. He might have been able to break those balls loose, but uh, he uh, he executed a perfect safety. Um, the only thing that could be wrong is that if Butera can uh, actually get around the six, but it appears that he uh, he's got him in a pretty tough spot. I don't think he has the luxury of that angle. So it looks like Vichero is going to have to spin the cue ball uh, around the six. He ha hit the four. Look at this shot, Johnny. He actually kicked it in and got on the f on the five ball. It was a pretty fortunate shot, but uh, he made a good hit, and uh, here he is. Uh, he's at the table. And Boston Shorty's looking at us here. With a, what was that kind of look with that? <laughs> I don't know. It looked like some kind of look of where, where was this shot a few years ago? Uh-oh, it looks like an error here. Well, Butera played a safety, and the uh, cue ball got away from him, John, and uh, went in the drink in the left side pocket. Shorty has uh, cue ball in hand. And Five, six, seven, eight. It appears yeah, that this is a routine pretty, out. Yeah, it's pretty routine type of an out. So with uh, Johnson in the lead, one to nothing, uh, he's back at the table, and uh, uh, Butera simply made a, uh, just a little position error, and it cost him. You think either of these guys still have the uh, capability of putting three and four games together? Oh, if I they're think breaking so, good? yeah. I think so. They, they played with each other for quite a few years. They, they know each other's game almost as well as they know their own. They, they know all the capabilities. What I, I was making reference to is, uh, is the, uh, uh, the break factor. Uh, uh, you know, on the uh, tour, the regular Pro Vigorous Tour and stuff, you get... Uh, uh, some of these guys that have big breaks where they have the capability of gaining momentum and running racks and running racks. And uh, uh, I was just uh, asking your opinion on uh, on either of these guys' uh, capability of stringing four, five, six games together at any given time. I think it uh, probably was a greater possibility a few years ago. Oh, without a doubt. Well, Shorty got uh, had a position here. He played safety and... Uh, his uh, effort to lay, lay the cue ball up behind the 8 and 9 failed, and he has given up a shot to Butera. We're still in game two. Butera at the table, and uh, he appears to have control of this rack here. One thing is for sure that Lou Butera hasn't slowed Look down. He just missed this 9 ball. Oh, that was definitely a mental error. Lou just missed the ball that he wouldn't miss uh, one out of a thousand times. Well, we're back to game two. This was, uh, you mentioned this in an early, uh, earlier uh, match that we did commentary together on, that uh, beginning, the early going in the match, uh, everybody still has a little bit of the jitters and stuff, and uh, that apparently showed up in that ma that game there. Oh, it definitely did, but uh, I think that was more of a, a mental error than, than it was a... Uh, pocketing wise because the shot was fairly easy it's yeah. just that he just got down on and shot it so fast and he mentally blocked out the, the shot mm -hmm. well, I was, but i don't give up on lou either because he shoots so fast he could he take a lead in, in minutes you know yeah yeah such was the case in uh, one of his matches earlier i remember he was uh um i can't recall who it was but he uh he was behind and uh, proceeded to, uh, within five minutes, uh, put five or six games on the board. Oh, yeah, he'll definitely do that to you. All right, here we are. Game number three, Larry Johnson at the table, also known as Boston Shorty. And uh, he has a shot at the one, and it looks like he's going to just shoot it real slow into the side pocket and uh, 
by doing such, the cue ball will stay in that general proximity to shoot the two in the corner. The rest of the, the layout, layout looks pretty good to me. If he gets from the two to the three, he should be in pretty good shape, Johnny. Oh, that was a cute little shot. He made the billiard uh, by shooting the uh, one into the uh, uh, three ball and it caromed into the side, and he, he ended up coming up with a shot. And believe it or not, he made the layout a little easier, too. Because if you notice, the seven is all the way down by where the six is now. Right. He has the two. Two to the three. The five ball is by the side pocket. Uh, the six is all the way up at the other end of the table. I don't think this is what he wanted to do there, though. No, definitely not. But he's still all right. He's still playing he's a little He's trying to get by that ball and shoot it back in that corner, I yep. believe. Definitely. All right, he's going to pocket the three straight in the corner and just slide the cue ball over for the five. He followed it down here. That isn't too bad of a shot because it's, just, it's pretty easy to get position now on a six ball in the same pocket that he's shooting the five right. ball on. We'll pocket the five in the upper left-hand corner pocket, follow the cue ball down. And uh, barring any uh, incidents where he'd be straight in, he should be, uh, with a little bit of angle, he should be in good shape. Yeah, he, it, it looks like he's got the perfect angle now to come out to go two wheels. Well, the eight is located all the way down at the other end of the table. He just has to get... That's a perfect angle. Seven here. Here That's here. That's going to be a perfect angle because now he can three-wheel this ball fairly easy and get down to that eight. Use it with high left. He goes into that corner. One, two. Well, he's going to get there, but... He'll be there. Good. Good call on Don Ervolino. He's going to pocket the eight in the corner pocket, slide up for an easy shot of the nine, and this is game number three. And Larry Johnson is about to take the three, three to nothing lead over Machine Gun Lou Butera. And, and he uh, did. Three zero. Now, uh, the uh, up to this point in time, uh, this is the uh, third day of the event, John. We started with 54 players. There's only 24 left. Everybody is in the money at this point in time. The score is three to nothing, and uh, Boston Shorty will be breaking the balls. Uh, now there's a there's one of the favorites here, uh, in and this. also one of the great legends, great players of the game, Mr. Buddy, Buddy uh, Hall, the Rifleman. A lot of these guys are still not active on the pro tour, but uh, Buddy's going to be able to play both these tours for a while. Okay, Johnson scratches on the break, and uh, Butera comes to the table with ball in hand anywhere on the table. This is one of the uh, versions of the Pro Express uh, versions of nine ball. Scratching the break is a foul ball in hand anywhere. And uh, Machine Gun Lou sets the cue ball in place. He's already checked out the whole layout, uh, John. He appears like uh, he's quite confident he's going to run this rack out. Well, this is definitely a big rack for him because if he don't run this rack, he'll, he'll play tight the rest of this whole match. Like Shorty, I know Lou's game pretty good, and uh, he's, not, uh, he's not comfortable at all. He plays the cue ball much better than this. And, uh, He's running into a little problem, but if he ever gets started, he'll get back in this match real fast. Uh, if the viewers get an opportunity, they might want to uh, try to get a, a look at that cue that Lou's playing with. That cue is from Italy. It's uh, manufactured by Longoni Custom Cues, and it is a beautiful cue. It's just uh, loaded up with inlay work. It is uh, it's quite a handsome piece of work. And Lou uh, has fired in the seven in the upper right-hand corner pocket and held the cue ball low, English, and now he looks like he's about to go on the board here. This is not quite what he wanted here on the nine, but uh, he thins it in the corner pocket. He wins his game, his first game, and now the score is Larry Johnson three, Lou Butera one. This is tournament director Dave Dolly. He's also the, uh, one of the managers here at the uh, Real Mines High Pockets. And uh, I've had the pleasure of working with them all week. We've been having a lot of fun here at Terry Romines. This is one of the uh, greatest rooms in the uh, in the country, for that matter, probably in the world. <laughs> no doubt. I have never, in my 50 years, I've never seen a place like this. Yeah, we have our own little tournament room. This is in the back end of the uh, the bigger room. It formerly was a skating rink, and has been uh, remodeled, rebuilt. Uh, it uh, features 50 over 50 uh, large tables. There's bar tables, three cushion tables, snooker tables. 
and uh, it's a great spot. Full bar, restaurant. So, any viewers that never made it to Milwaukee, you owe it to yourself when you're in this area to stop by Romine. Butera breaks the balls in game number five. The score is 3-1 to one Johnson. Uh, he has this a shot at the two ball. What about this 3-6 in the corner? This is an awful tough layout right here. That three laying in a very bad position. He might try to hit this He might try ball. to crash into him right here. Uh, here he goes. He shot well, he the two in the corner. Two. He did. And uh, he shook him up down there, but uh, he failed to make the two ball, Johnny. So it's uh, Boston Shorty's turn at the table. It uh, looks like the three six is uh, wired here up in the corner. So if he can figure out a way to get this two in, he might have action. Well, this is a one pocket shot right here. He, he might try to. No, he missed the whole ball. Well, what was he trying to do? He was trying to just, uh, like, double kiss it off that point. Yeah, and, uh, that's and, the only uh, chance he had of making that ball. Right. The gang on the other place, that's pretty deep in the pocket. Well, Shorty tried to spin into that corner to uh, get a piece of the two ball, and uh, he ended up missing the entire ball. It gives Butera ball in hand. He pockets it two. The three six is wired. And uh, from there, uh, John, the four goes in the uh, corner pocket or the side. The five ball clears up in the upper corner. It looks like he has an opportunity to win his second game. Scotty, I'd like you to notice how fast he shoots. I mean, he'll get rid of the, if he runs the rack, he'll get rid of this rack in less than 30 seconds. Uh, I had an opportunity when I was growing up to uh, see him in uh, at the Stardust in Las Vegas. Uh, uh, Go through a hundred and some balls in a, a About half hour. About fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he'll do it. When they nicknamed him Machine Gun Lou, they weren't lying. Well, this is and game number did. five, and uh, Butera is on the board again. He has won his second game. He trails the match three games to two. John Erlino. Well, like I said in the beginning, it's going to be a close match. Well, 3-2, game six, and uh, Lou Butera is breaking the ball. And uh, traveling with Lou on this trip is his wife. Uh, she makes most of the tournaments with him. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Lou's uh, son? Oh, I don't know. Sal I know the son of a they were babies. Yeah. There's Carolyn there. That's Mrs. Butera. That's Mrs. Butera right, right there. Next to her is Mrs. Vanover. And right next to them was one of the promoters of the United States Open Straight Pool, Mike yeah, Geiger. Yeah, Mike Geiger's with us. Now yeah, we've had quite a few uh, special personalities be here. Uh, Conrad Berkman with the bigger news is covering the uh, tournament. Well, uh, Butera breaks the balls. He came up dry. And uh, Shorty uh, is at the table now. The score is 3-2 to two in favor of uh, Boston Shorty. But uh, before I... Uh, forget while well, I was on the subject of Lou's son, uh, Sal. He's uh, he's a top player in his own right. Oh, definitely. All right, Shorty opens up the uh, rack with a very fine shot on the one ball. He just cut it down the corner of the cue ball. Hit uh, the nine to hold into the nine to hold it for the two. This is about the toughest part of his layout right here, and then he executed that fairly easy. All right. Tell us how he's going to run out of this rack well, here, John. to me, I see the three in the side. I mean, three in the corner, the four in the side, the five in our left corner, right. the six in our right corner, the seven, I believe he'll shoot that in the side, and the eight in this corner, get down the nine ball. Looks like a perfect way It's easy here. to me. It's easy looking at it, isn't it? But, of course, it's much easier seeing it. On the side. I ain't missed a ball in four in almost fifty years. On Not the side. one. Not Are you one. sure? I think I miscued once. <laughs> John Ervolino never missed a ball from the booth. He said. Okay, I uh, I would tend to agree with John right now. This looks like uh, uh, Shorty's going to win this game here. This is game number six. The score is three to two in favor of uh, Larry Johnson. And uh, it looked like that ball was struggling to get down there, but I think he's okay. Yeah. I think he's got the angle that he yeah. needs. He's just going to come into the uh, corner. Well, he'll go through the else with this. He'll out. shoot right. this in the opposite pocket, the eight ball. Right. And that was just a little three three cushion uh, position shot there. And uh, Boston Shorty knows plenty about three cushions, right, John? Oh, he, he does. He, he was a great three cushion great player. Great three cushion player, yeah. One time I remember uh, he was reputed by uh, many to be the uh, finest all-around player in the world during his uh, hairy day. He takes a 4-2 to two lead, Larry Johnson, over uh, 
machine gun Lou Butera. Anyway, they're both having fun, Johnny, I can tell. Oh, that. they definitely are. They, listen. Uh, everybody likes to win. There can only be one winner of a match. They're going to be friends. They're friends before the match. They'll be friends after the match. It's, it's just a pleasure to play with each other again. Yeah, I'm sure uh, it would be interesting if we could get some statistics of some of their uh, past records against each other. You know, all these guys that have assembled for this, the first ever stop on the senior tour. Okay, uh, Shorty breaks the balls, and uh, he uh, failed to make anything. Butera comes to the table, and Butera is trailing the match four games to two. This is a race to 11. We're to the final 24, and this the uh, Taco Bell Senior Players Championships in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Butera. But you know why this game in that ball amazes me? If you notice, this rack is entirely different than the rack that, that uh, Larry Johnson had to face last time. Right. I mean, the balls lay so different, it's ridiculous. Right. Every uh, I kind of think of it as a puzzle, each rack. And, yeah. Uh, each, uh, each, each game is a different puzzle to solve. Yep. And right now, Mr. Larry Johnson has a little puzzle to solve well, here. He's got to do something with that yeah, two yeah. ball. The two know. and the five are the, are the two balls located uh, immediately adjacent to the side pocket. And... Um, I'm not sure what, uh, by the look on his face, I don't know if he's positive. Uh, but that two ball could even go, yeah, could it? I, that, I don't know. We'll find out soon. He's, uh, oh, look at this. Well, he sure got good on it. If it could go, he's there. You can't get no closer to that two ball than he's Well, there. it appears that by looking at the monitor that he has a uh, he has room to hit the ball and that, uh, that there's room to slide it past that point. Uh, but even this, uh, he has to play position on the three. I believe Let's see if we have a referee come over and watch this. No, he had plenty of room to make. Uh, maybe he was trying to figure out a way at the same time to move that five ball around. But anyway, he was unable to do it with that angle on the two ball. Now he's uh, shooting the three. He's going to spin it back, cut it in the corner pocket, and hold the cue ball. Now he lets it run a little bit. <clears throat> What do you what do you think he's gonna do on this five, John? <laughs> I see one heck of a problem over here. He might wind up setting this up a bank. Well, it doesn't appear that it will go into the side pocket. If it does, it uh, has been very very little room to get it by there. But he's gonna crank in the four into the corner pocket. He's gonna look at the five again. Six and the seven. Uh, everything clears. Uh, Except that five ball. That's the only problem. Yeah. All left. And this is a big game. It's four to two in favor of Johnson. He wants to make sure that uh, he yes, can stretch this lead out. Uh, boy, did he spin that ball? Is he going to bank this? I don't. He might shoot this up the corner. I believe this this five ball goes in the corner. No, he's shooting it aside. I don't like this shot at all because Ooh, it's, wow, what he hit a that shot. Good. He powered it right in there. And uh, he has the six straight in. He'll uh, get a desired angle on the seven ball. Pretty easy. And uh, he looks like he, uh, oh. He lost it. He lost the kibble. He tried to hold it up by hitting the, hitting the nine ball, right, John? Yep. And he lost it. Well, the cue ball slid underneath the nine ball. Therefore, uh, he ended up uh, with a very tough shot on the seven. Now, he has an option here to play safe or to try to pocket this ball and uh, get position on the eight. Well, if this if this game here comes down to safety play, I make sure that the favorite uh, as far as safety goes, just from his three cushion knowledge. Uh, I would uh, I would think just by their personality types too. Uh, uh, Shorty tends to be a little more patient, I think, yeah. than Lou. Lou is uh, definitely a, a faster hitter. Well, uh, now that that was almost a perfect save. That's just about as good as you could have done in that shot. Right Shorty there. hit that with uh, uh, great speed. He uh, parked the cue ball all the way down in the end rail. I, I once heard an expression, that when in doubt, leave him on the end rail. <laughs> and that will definitely do it. <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what Shorty did. He put him right on the end rail. And if uh, Sh Lou shoots his way out of this, he's really doing something. Is he going to uh, shoot an offensive shot here, or is he going to play defense? Uh, knowing Lou all these years, there's no telling what he might do. He might try to skid to seven. On the right side of the seven, just to hold it put there. Or well, you might even try to bring the seven down by the eight ball. There's a lot of things 
Yeah, you could never tell what Lucas got to do. One thing is for sure, Shorty's got him in a tough situation. Oh, without a doubt. Look at this. He went for it. And he got away with it. Look at that 7 and bad. 8 go together. The 7 and 8 like hugged each other all the they way sure down. They sure did. It looked like a trick shot. And, um... It, uh, Shorty, uh... Shorty could put him in trouble again. And Shorty's going to play his safe, hitting the 7 into the 8. Three railing the cue ball, leaving the seven where the eight is, and putting the cue ball on the top rail. No, he, he went, went for the it. shot. Went for the shot. And he might have got away with this one. Ooh. Yes, he did. Well, we discussed uh, being a little lucky in our previous uh, match that we did commentary on. and uh, Like uh, I told you in the other one, the pool gods know this. A certain story about pool guys, they definitely know who's going to get the break, Shirley. Well, Shorty got a little fortunately. Uh, Gutierrez yeah. kicking at the seven. Ooh. Oh, I yeah. almost scratched in the corner there, but uh, uh, the cue ball stayed on the surface of the table. And uh, Shorty now has a uh, has a shot with the cue ball in the jaws of the lower left-hand corner pocket. And uh, this requires a really, really, really fine execution uh, to uh, pocket the seven and get position. He attempted to cut it in the side pocket. He uh, hit the point, and now Bichera is uh, in uh, the best shape he's been in lately. He's only trailing by two games. If he uh, wins this game, he'll close it to a one-game lead, and we'll have the break. The score is 4-2 to two in game number seven. And this is Machine Gun Lou Butera at the table. This is not quite the uh, shot he wanted to get, but he should be okay. Well, he cuts, he cuts balls in very well, Louie. That's one of his strongest suits right there, cutting those balls. Well, he's straight in on the nine ball. Once again, this is game seven. Butera wins that game. And after seven games, the score is Larry Johnson, four, and Butera, three. Uh, the tour moves from uh, this stop. The next stop is... Uh, <laughs> The uh, next stop is going to be in Alexandria, Virginia, which is a suburb of Washington, D.C. Uh, the first week of May, they already have the uh, stop number three scheduled uh, in the Chicago area in June. Uh, looks like the seniors are in for a lot of fun here, uh, Johnny. Uh, they get to probably have like one event a month. And you know, Scott, in a couple of years, you're going to have quite a few good players that aren't eligible right now getting into that senior thing and uh, before you know it this might become a real big thing in the sport of pocket billiards certainly might because uh the potentials of how many players they're going to have in a couple of years is unbelievable right they'll wind up with five times as many players as they have now okay butera broke the balls in game seven he uh failed to make a ball and uh, Johnson is going to exercise his right to uh, a legal push out. The very first shot after the break uh, is allows you to have a legal push out. Uh, so he's going to roll the cue ball up on, further up on the end rail. And uh, Butera now gets the option to either take the shot or give it back to Shorty. And this only comes up one time again, the first shot after the break. And uh, it's a great rule. Uh, for those of you that are... Uh, uh, First-time viewers, for whatever reason, uh, simply because of this uh, tape being a senior tour uh, uh, a tape from AccuStats, I may not be familiar with that rule, but uh, the uh, the uh, last uh, couple of years there's uh, been some uh, modifications in the uh, pro nine-ball rules, and uh, and I think uh, uh, they're they're all for the better. This is uh, Butera's option to take the shot or give it back. He uh, chooses to shoot, and uh, now. Uh, he failed to make a ball. Johnson comes to the table. All nine balls are still on the table, but he has a way better shot than uh, when he first began. In the pocket, the one in the lower left-hand corner pocket. Place position on the two. Ooh, he hit the six. He's got a shot. Now, what about this 3-8 situation here? Well, he the, might uh, try this three-ball combination right here. Okay. It, it don't seem that, like uh, it lays that bad. It appears that uh, he has a little bit of angle on the uh, two ball, but he's uh, you're just saying he's just going to pocket the two on the side and just float it over there real softly with the speed. And he's looking at it now with the cue ball up above the three, eight, nine combination. Well, this would be a cute shot here if he makes this. Um, well, there's two ways to play that shot. He could either try to get on the three way, he could pity the nine off the rail, or mm -hmm. go for the three ball combination. Me, I prefer the three ball combination in this spot. 
because these pockets are pretty giving and uh, it's really not that much off. Well, we'll see what he... I'm sure what he chooses to be the right shot. He knows enough about Paul to know it. Well, I think you're... Uh, you called it again, John. It looks like he's uh, going to shoot the 389 combination. And he's also going to duck that cue ball. See, where he is now, he could have, he's got the luxury of ducking the cue ball. He's got a chance to play well, only a safety a, uh, and a shot. This is game number eight. There's only one game separating, and Shorty would like to gain some momentum again if he could, but... Uh, well, there's that duck. He well, played the shot and also ducked. I believe he did. He executed the duck part pretty well. well. He was a little fortunate uh, in the fact that he... Uh, where the three ball ended up. Look at that shot. Luby Terry just kicked that, uh, kicked for the three and ended up pocketing it. Now he's shooting the four ball. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, traffic in the uh, upper corner, uh, upper left hand corner there with the seven, eight, nine. They're all tied up. Uh, do you think he's got a game plan that uh, uh, the seven, nine looks like? Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good combination right there. Yeah, he might end up having to shoot that. He's going to pocket the five in the. Uh, Right-hand corner pocket. Oh, that solves that problem. Just move those balls around. Great shot there. All right, six in the side. Seven in the right-hand corner pocket. He's going to also hold the cue ball one more time to his left to shoot the eight over there. And uh, he does uh, he, he does make up his mind fast. Anyway, sure this does. is... <laughs> this is the eighth game of the match, and uh, Butera's right back in it. The score now is now tied, tied four to four. Well, they're both struggling just a little bit, but uh, they, uh, when the uh, layouts have been uh, pretty routine, they both managed to get out. Um, how do you assess uh, Lou's break so far here, Johnny? Uh, it's as good as mine, and I had the worst break in the world. <laughs> it's tied for last, isn't it? Yeah, he's a, yeah. It's, a, it's a dead heat for the last position. Uh, well, without that big break, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to string a bunch of games together, and we've seen that. Neither player has actually uh, kept his opponent in the chair without uh, getting an opportunity to uh, shoot somewhat in each game. And uh, We'll see if Luke can... Uh, change that by either uh, making the nine in the break or uh, pocketing a few balls and uh, going to be getting a combination. Uh, nine ball is one of those kind of games you like to gain momentum if you can by winning some quick games. But yeah. uh, Here we go. Game number nine the scores four to four. Butera breaking the balls. I told you he's got the same kind of break as me. Well, they uh, have... Uh, uh, tournament director Dave Dolly racking the balls for them this session, and uh, um, here comes a safety play. He's going to put that cue ball behind the six. Neither player has figured out the uh, the rack up to this point in time. You're absolutely right. Once again, John Urbelino, and uh, he uh, laid up behind the six, forcing Butera to kick for the one ball, and uh, it was a great safe. He's uh, uh, he's in a tough spot here. Now the layout, if. Um, he does get cue ball in hand. He's going to still have a little problem. Okay. And Butera does a little jig there uh, as he dances around the room. And the cue ball, he made a, he made a pretty game effort to, uh, to uh, kick at the one ball. It, however, slid right between that window between the one and eight, and the cue ball went in the corner pocket. Now, Boston Shorty comes to the table with cue ball in hand. The score is tied four to four, and once again, it's a race to 11. Now, the two ball is... Uh, the two and the three are in a very ticklish position. Now, the three ball is the uh, ball located uh, on the right side of the table, halfway up the uh, rail there. Actually, it looks like he's uh, in a pretty good position just to lock the gonna... two and, and bring yeah. the cue ball easy like that across the table. Nice shot. I, I didn't even know the two ball went aside. All right, he's going to pocket the three right in the corner ball, the corner pocket. He's going to... Uh, Try to bring that cue ball straight back with four. Ho, he hollers. Ho! He still has uh, enough room to thin it into the side pocket. He's going to... Will he spin this ball with, like, uh, right-hand English here, John? Well, he's got the option. He, he could use even... You could even use a little reverse. He's got a, really an option for this. The idea is to make this ball. Right. And he's 
Playing position on the five. In the side. And uh, he hits the eight. Could cause a little bit of a problem, but he uh, fortunately uh, bumps the eight out of the way. He can shoot the five in the side pocket. And uh, just moves that cue ball down perfectly for the six ball. And barring it being straight in, he uh, with an angle, he should be uh, in pretty good shape. I don't know. I I believe he's. I think he's straight in on that ball right there. It's so hard to tell from him. Perfect, perfect. Oh, education. what a nice shot! Perfect. Yeah, education. he had to really cue it low, and uh, he actually uh, he probably was straight in. And he cued it uh, with low and right hand English when it came off that side rail. The English opens up the angle in the cue ball. Yeah, but he uh, did it at a perfect speed. Very nice speed. <laughs> He's cussing at you, John. <laughs> yeah. He's... Anyway, uh, Shorty looks over at us here in the booth. The score is four to four. He's not 100 percent happy, but he's in pretty good shape to take a, a lead again, uh, five to four. Ooh. And he hit that tenderly, and he missed it. Well, Butera looked away once uh, once he saw where the cue ball ended up because. Uh, uh, it was kind of unfortunate, but that's just about the only place that could uh, add to his woes here by simply jacking him up here. So now he has to shoot up over the nine ball, and uh, and it makes it a difficult shot, and it, it showed up there. Well, Scott, you know, you have to look at it a lot of ways. You, I mean, that's one thing uh, Luby Terror did get left tough, but he ought to be thankful that he got at least he got a chance at the table. He's not even supposed to have been at the table, yep. so any shot would have been better than not right. being here at all. Right, you're absolutely right there. Yeah. Well, this um, is a tough little layout here. It, uh, yeah, something it funny keeps fun. continuing to happen here. He, his position on the nine is not ideal by any means. Looks like he's going to try to bank this ball. He'll bank it and duck at the same time. He'll over the... He made First it. shot there. Exactly well, they both are struggling a little bit, but Johnson takes a five to four lead in this one of the classic all-time matchups uh, by two of the uh, premier players of yesteryear. It's uh, Machine Gun Lou Butera and Boston Shorty, and the score is five to four in the first ever Senior Tour uh, Players Championship here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, once again, total purse is twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Uh, the remainder of the room is the uh, uh, other gentleman on the uh, one loss side. There's 24 players left uh, at this point in time in the tournament. Shorty breaks the balls in game number 10. And uh, he pocketed the five ball. He has a shot at the one. Uh, the two ball is the uh, ball on the uh, right side of your screen, uh, halfway up on the side uh, at the upper uh, part of the table uh, right against the rail. If he gets the right angle on the one here, he'll uh, pocket the two in the corner pocket. It looks like uh, I if he believe gets... he's going to be forced to shoot the two in the, in the, all down the way below? down, down below. Yeah, yeah he, might not have, he might not have the angle that, uh, the luxury that you would that desire. That one. But it looks like uh, the key to this game is getting from the one to the two to the three. After that, it should be clear sailing. Well, you're absolutely right, John. He was playing position to shoot the two ball down in the corner pocket, and uh, he failed to make the one. And Butera's got a shot here. He just has to thin that one on the side, and he shoots it real easy so that the cue ball uh, will give him a shot at the uh, two in the corner now. He'll hit the seven to stay there for the three. Very nicely done. Absolutely right. Irvelino called that. He pocketed the two ball, allowed the cue ball to bump into the seven so it would stay there. And, uh, John, it looks like we're, uh, we're in, tied again. in route to another tie. This is one of those seesaw battles. Scores 5-4 in favor of Larry Johnson. And Butera at the table. The 7 in the corner, the 8 in the lower left-hand corner pocket. And uh, with uh, plenty of different pockets to shoot the 9, it looks like he'll uh, just draw it back and shoot it in the uh, lower right-hand corner pocket. You know, he didn't hit it as crisp as he should have, but uh, he's got a good shot. And Butera wins game number 10. John Ervolino. Well, did you like uh, have any... Go ahead. I told you from the beginning it's going to be a close match. There's, there's nobody giving up no water here. Did you have any uh, pre-tournament favorites uh, here in Milwaukee going into this event? Yeah, myself. 
Well, but that's a it. strange thing happened. I lost. <laughs> Are you still in? I guess you're not still in. Huh? No. Nope. I went home on E. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but there's me another thought of it. Yeah. Yeah, we just went through the upcoming schedule. The next one will be in the first part of May of 96 in Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, followed Which will by also a, be a very fine tournament. All right, the score is tied 5-5. Five to five. We're in game number 11. We're here at Romine's High Pockets. Actually, Terry Romine, the proprietor, just uh, stepped by the booth. I wonder if you can get a shot. Well, Butera... Terry took a shot at the two ball and uh, actually uh, had problems getting by the five, and uh, he ended up missing it. Well, now we're back to that safety play again. And Shorty executed it perfect again. Well, he kicked from behind the ball and uh, actually hit it full enough to where the two ball would go to the middle of the end rail. When in doubt, leave him on the end rail. That's it. Like you said before, distance will stop at anything. All right. Okay, this is game number 11. And uh, Butera made a good hit, and uh, he kicked the two ball back down here. He actually uh, did okay with his, uh, his safe here. I think, I believe Shorty's going to try to get behind it. No, he's not. Well, that was like a forced follow into the rail just to... Uh, Hold, hold that, that cue, cue ball, ball there. And he, and, uh, I believe he's got him safe again. He was uh, using the uh, four and the seven as a shield. He uh, he shot the two ball all the way around the table, cued the, uh, the cue ball high so it dug into the rail and didn't leave him a shot, and he executed it pretty well, although Pichero got a little bit of peak of it. Well, Lou uh, appears to have him snookered himself here. Uh, they're shooting at the uh, two ball, which is the ball in the... Uh, top part of the uh, table, and uh, from there they shoot the uh, four ball, which is by the side pocket on the left of the screen. And uh, they continue to kick at the ball. And uh, Boy, do I love this type of a game. It looks like uh, Butera has an opening here, and uh, he's going to try to fire that two ball in the corner. He played a nice position, high left-hand English, or excuse me, right-hand English, and... Uh, uh, as an opportunity to shoot the four. He's just going to run it right down the rail. Bring the cue ball over. Oh, he's talking to the ball. Slow down, baby. Ooh, what a shot that was. So barely to get able to get that in the side pocket. Seven, eight, nine, and uh, it looks like we got a new leader. For, for the first match. Okay. Yeah. And this is game number 11, and Butera pockets the ball, and hey, we've got a new leader here. Lou Butera goes ahead 6-5. Uh, to five. This yeah, is the race gonna, to we're 11. We're going to look at that safety again that Larry Johnson performed with that high ah, ball. Tell he's, me what he's doing here. High well, English? Well, he's using high English, and he's forcing that two around the five ball to get back to the table and use the four and the seven for his shield. Just, right. You can't hold this ball with a low ball. You must use a high ball to hold this. Now, the cue ball, look at that. The cue ball came off the rail and uh, turned back into the rail, and you called it pretty good, John. Yeah, yeah. that's just about pitchy perfect the way he hit it. Yeah, it was a nice shot. Here we are, back to live action. The score is six to five. Machine gun lose at the table, breaking the balls. And uh, this is the first time I believe he's had a lead, isn't it? The first time during this match. But don't count Three, that little shorty out. Four. Well, he uh, neglected, failed to make a ball also. All right, this layout here, uh, if he can get from the one to the two pretty easily, the... Uh, he might uh, set up this combination with the four ball. And he might have an option to have a shortcut to pocket the four and nine combination. Uh, he looks like he got perfect on or two to get there. Boy, uh, he's shoot. shaking his head a little bit. He, uh, he'll shoot the three down the corner and just go over to this four and nine. That's exactly how he's going to play this. Up and down. Is that okay. right? Oh. All right, he's going to shoot the three in the uh, corner pocket. He's going to cue the cue ball to low and right and just draw it back here. I, I believe he's going to play position on the combination. Oh, definitely. There it is. 
Here it is. Good well, boys. for our viewers, uh, do you have any tips on how to make these uh, these kind of shots, John? Without yeah, uh... shoot it straight. <laughs> you have a problem with that rail here. Shoot it straight. That rail is the problem. Shoot Believe it or not, straight. the rail became a problem. That was uh, a pretty unfortunate break for sure that it got on that rail with the cue ball. That made that, that combination so much tougher. Well, he pocketed the four. Now the five, six, seven. It looks like uh, Buteri has a, uh, another opening here to... Uh, Open up his lead. He's ahead six to five right now. And he just keeps chipping away, chipping away, and chipping away. And uh, either player is really dominating the match like you uh, predicted earlier. But uh, um, That's a little trouble right there, it's actually been a pretty okay. good match because they both have been, uh, uh, you know, playing hard. And uh, with the opportunities they've had, they've done pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good with them. And uh, Butera now is uh, about to pocket the nine ball. That boy, that's his seventh game. This is a race to 11. The score now becomes Butera seven and Boston Shorty five. Once again, this match is on the one loss side. The uh, loser will be eliminated, and the winner will continue on with a chance to win six thousand dollars here at Romine's High Pockets in Milwaukee. The uh, first uh, first ever senior. Uh, Tour stop here is sponsored by Taco Bell. That's one of my favorite places to eat. I'm getting hungry thinking about it. Yeah, so do I. I love that place. I yeah. could eat there three, four times a week. Uh, I know Steve. Uh, Steve is, uh, has talked to many great uh, potential sponsors, and uh, I can't wait. Once this gets off the ground, it's going to be a rocking show. Uh, Butera comes up empty on the break, and that was uh, game number 13, and Larry Johnson at the table. This layout looks a little scary here. If you go, uh, I don't see no, I don't see no possible shot over here other than see. playing a snooker. I think he's gonna lay that one down the end of the table and just put the cue ball behind the four like that, and uh, pretty Which nice little safety. Well. He did that very well, and the only hit Lou has on this ball, I believe, is shooting the ball at the higher part of the table two rails. And the, this uh, hit here, I'm not too crazy about. Oh, what a nice shot. No, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about that hit because if he hit the ball, something like this was supposed to happen. Yeah. Uh, the other way, I think you have more chance of getting lucky to get a look at the lever safety. Uh -huh. now, Shorty, Shorty, uh, Shorty pockets the one, and uh, now he's uh, he's in pretty good shape here. The two, the three, if he can get back up table when he goes from the three to the four, I think yeah. he'll have control of this rack here. And this is a very big rack for sure. He cannot afford not to win this rack. I if agree with you. He right three, now is a... Three games back at this stage of the game, he's in a world of trouble. Right. All right, we're getting close to uh, uh, getting near the end of this match, and uh, you're right. I don't think he wants to uh, let Butera stretch out his lead any further than two games. And then tournament director Dave Dolly just announced the uh, uh, victory of Mike LeBron, and... Uh, he continues his march to the loser side. And LeBron, I would consider to be a pre-tournament favorite from Philadelphia. Uh, he still is uh, active on the uh, Pro Bears Tour. And he's a tremendous player. Great player. And, uh, he lost in his opening round to uh, Dave Bowman, and I believe uh, that's uh, uh, five people that he has sent home. I remember uh, hearing him say yesterday, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. I don't know. But to me, this is the right shot. You can just down the corner. This is four ball because it's easy to get on a five then. Like so. What about shoot, that eight? What about that eight? No, he's fine He's there. okay. Yeah, the speed is real good there. Now, if I know Shorty, he'll three rail this cue ball to get on the six. Not taking the chance of getting safe behind that seven and nine. You're right. If he uh, goes across table uh, without coming uh, with a three cushion, he runs the risk of crashing into the seven and the nine. Oh, he went that way, though. And by using all that spin, he missed the ball. Yep. Well. This match might be over now, but uh, I don't believe uh, Shorty could come back from a three-game deficit like Lou did. You think he can stick a fork in him? Yeah, I don't think I, so. I, I don't think it's all over yet. The score is seven to five. Butera smells the smells the victory though. He's one of these guys. I mentioned it in, in an earlier uh, uh, commentary with you about uh, having to be a closer in this business. I think Lou is uh, is the kind of guy when he gets in front, uh, he can he can close it out. He can tell that uh, Shorty has uh, has gotten gotten a little weak in a yeah. couple spots here. 
and uh, he's going to try to take advantage of that weakness as quick as he can. The score is now 8-5 to five in favor of Butera. And uh, the balls will be racked by uh, Scott Kiddo. And he took a commanding lead. Uh, Scott Kiddo is on a... Uh, Explore, exploratory mission here. He's a he's a mainstay on the Pro Beards Tour, and he I think he's scouting out future opposition. He's not too far away from being on the Senior Tour himself. Well, like I said, in a couple of three years, you'll see more senior players than you'll see uh, young players. Well, it's a great era that they come from. Here we go, Butera breaking the balls in. Uh, Game number 14, the score is 8-5 to five in favor of Lou Butera. And, and he still has nothing on the break. Ball out of break. That's nothing the, on the break. That's his fifth consecutive break that he didn't pocket the ball. So that's why I said he's got a break as weak as mine. Maybe weaker. Yeah. Okay, short stuff at the table here. And uh, he pockets the one ball. The two, three. A four lays a little funny. Uh, that's... But that's definitely the only problem. Ball is that four ball on this rack. It is a it is a pretty interesting game. Uh, you mentioned it earlier. How each uh, each rack, each layout, it continues to be different, and it's a challenge in its own right, and a different puzzle. And uh, it's a super game. Here he's got the four and the five, both close to that side rail. And now he's got a little bit of an angle on the three, and it's. Uh, it's, it's going to be gonna tricky to get position. Problem, yeah, yeah it's, he's got a problem he's, there. He's, he's definitely got a problem. And it's uh, something that he doesn't need. He trails in the match three games. And, uh, well, he tried a billiard there. Well, actually, Lou don't have too much going for him here because he's got a problem getting to the fall ball from this three. Well, as the balls ended up uh, uh, where they came to rest after uh, Shorty's shot here, he's uh, jacked up over these uh, over the six and the seven again. And, uh, and like you said, he, uh, the angle is going to force him uh, away from the four ball. And uh, um, it's not, uh, this is not an easy layout. And there he goes behind the two balls. Well, he did as good as he could. No, but the speed, but he's gone. The speed, speed got him. put him behind him. This could be the opening that Shorty has been looking for. And needs. And he needs. can't afford to go and for, no further than this. Yeah, well, this Lou Terry, he's quite a character. Look at him. He's, he uh, sure is. You know the only thing I love about Lou? He thinks he's the only one that gets bad rolls. I mean... Oh, wait a minute. What about Grady? <laughs> yeah, well, Grady, too. But uh, this game, those breaks will work out pretty even if you look at the matches. Well, he made a good hit. And, and he uh, executed a uh, pretty good Legal shot, play. but uh, he might be... Uh, he might have put himself in a tough spot here. Shorty has an opportunity to... Uh, uh, he's close in. It looks like he's just going to drive the four to the end rail. Or is he going for this? He's going for He's it. He's going out of corner, yeah. Yeah. And he overdid it. Overdid it. Well, the pockets are forgiving, but not that forgiving. Yeah, he, he overdid it. And, they, in fact, he was bad on the five ball, too. He would have had a problem with the five. Yeah. Like well, I, Shorty's talking to himself now. And uh, he, uh, ooh, Peter needs to... Uh, he needs to get in position, get in line, and close this match out because uh, if he doesn't do it soon, I mean, Shorty still may have an opportunity, but Shorty's wanting to get beat here, it looks like. What a shot. What a shot. Tara thinned that ball in the uh, left side pocket, came all the way around the table with the cue ball. He has a good shot at the six. Nope. Well, they both want to win really bad, and uh, they're trying. They're, uh, have you ever tried too hard, Johnny? Sometimes oh, that, uh, definitely. that that trying too hard is probably the worst thing oh. you could do. Is just get out there and play your game, which I can't do. But I wish I could. But, uh, this is definitely a game. You must be comfortable at the table. If you, if you put that excessive pressure on yourself, you're in trouble. Yep. Well, Buddy Hall just uh, won next door. I believe the ending of that match was 11 to 1. That's over Freddie Garino. Yep. And I, uh, Dallas West, who's a great player from Rockford, Illinois, also. Again, Boston Shorty, let that cue ball get away. Well, he's, uh, he's not happy with himself. This sure is not the Shorty I remember, I'll tell you that much. This is definitely not the Hey, Boston there's Shorty a good role. 
There's a good roll. Now he's look at it. Look at this determined look on his face. He's well. You know uh, what he's trying, Scott. You know what he's saying to himself. How could this happen? I was a great player. How could I do these little things, stupid things, and, and uh, believe it or not? Somewhat in disgust, I would agree yeah. with you. The score now. He he's right back in this game though. Yeah. It scores eight to six. And he's shaking his finger at you, John Irvine. You know. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I, so, could he hear me? I mean, is it possible that he can hear me? No. I hope he don't have a pistol on him. I might be in a world of trouble. Well, Johnny, if you uh, you remember uh, the captain, Mike Siegel, he... Uh, uh, Sigler used to always like to have an ear man, somebody that he could uh, close by, that he could talk to and chirp to and chew their ear off. And I think you're uh, Shorty's ear man here. I might be his incentive to start playing better. Who knows? Okay, Shorty breaks the ball. It's game 15. That There's only a two-game uh, difference here. It's 8-6 to six in favor of Butera. Now Shorty continues to play his fine safety play. And uh, if, he, uh, if he gets a turnover in this spot here, he has a chance to close the gap to one game. Yeah. This is a Can you see the one? It looks like he has a shot. Okay. This is a very important Oh, game. what a shot. Oh, he's in plenty of trouble here, but well, he has Shorty, uh, Shorty uh, his uh, execution of the safety wasn't uh, wasn't good enough, and uh, Butera had a little bit of the one. He managed to cut it down in the lower left-hand corner pocket, and uh, he's at the table and appears to be in charge. What's this? Still you a lot of problems. Scratch. You have I don't I don't know if that six ball goes any place. The six is laying right next well, to the seven. Well, uh, he's that's what he's looking at right now, and he's uh, he's not uh, apparently not happy with the uh, the way those two balls are laid out. I think he could make some kind of little Karen Bayard shot on the six seven if he gets that far. But he made a very fine shot on the three. I think your assessment of his ability to cut balls is. Uh, is uh, very accurate, John Early. That's the strongest part of his game. He, very, he cuts balls terrific. All right, is this a billiard or is this a six a ball? This is no, oh, six no, ball six clears. Ball fit. He wasn't sure. He just stood up there himself. He wasn't 100% confident in it, but uh, he cheated the pocket and uh, made the six. Now he uh, continues uh, his fast pace. The seven. Uh, goes in the corner. He has two balls left to put him on nine games. This is a race to 11. And uh, this was a very big game here for Boston Shorty. He sure needed was. to win that game, and uh, Lou just snatched it away from him. All right, Butera now is on nine. Shorty on six. That's uh, 15 games have been played. Once again, it's a race to 11. And uh, we're going to have Lou Butera, machine gun Lou, breaking the balls. And results well, are coming I'll be honest in. with you. I think he should let his wife break for him because he don't break the wall. <laughs> I thought it over. I have a better break than him. Well, let's see what happens this break. Okay, here we go. This is game number 16. The score is 9-6 to six in favor of Butera. And Butera breaking. Look at this. Oh, a nice shot towards the uh, lower left-hand corner pocket. He, fa he uh, made the seventh ball, so now... Another ball drops. The six and the seven are down. Uh, Johnny, this is probably the uh, break he's been looking for to really uh, open up the uh, margin and close the door here. Yeah, but I don't know how he's going to get down to that two ball. He's going to use his jack of choice, bro. And uh, watch out, three ball. Watch out, three ball. And he got through oh, to it. Oh, he made a very, very, very fine shot. The cue ball came up behind the three. And uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's uh, still unable to uh, uh, put that last nail in the coffin, and Shorty is smiling now. Yeah, Shorty sees a little a little daylight right now because this this layout is uh, fairly easy once you get a shot at that two ball. All right, and Butera is going to have to find a way to hit that two ball, and uh, it looks, uh, appears like he's in uh, serious trouble here. Where the two and the nine are, that's almost an automatic billiard to make the win the game there. He's, gonna He's going to follow this three ball. Nah, that ain't going to work. Well, he tried to do some uh, kind of trick masse shot. He uh, failed to execute it uh, with the result of something, uh, uh, making a good hit with a, a legal safety. So ball in hand for Shorty. And uh, he's going to shoot the two uh, right past the nine. 
Play position on the three and the side pocket on the right of your screen. And the uh, four is the ball in the upper left-hand corner. And it looks like a routine out here. This would give Johnson seven games. Butera is still only on nine. We got a ball game again. Yeah, it's definitely a ball game. Shorty's there. smiling here. He's, uh, I think he's happier now than he has been the last few racks. Well, he's just happy being at the table. He knows he shouldn't have been there if Butera didn't get that roll behind the three ball. This yep. game would have been over. <clears throat> and probably the match. This is still uh, a little bit of life. Well, that got away from him there. That's not where he was playing position for, but he's going to just have to uh, muscle up and regroup here. He's gonna, it appears that he's going to uh, shoot it inside. With a high ball, it seems like he'll go right into that nine ball. Yeah, he uh, runs the risk of something funny happening with the nine ball, but that's what he's going to do. And he did. He touched that nine ball. Well, he's, uh, he's back in the fire again here, Johnny. Well, he's going to bank this ball for sure. He's going to try to win it. I don't think he's going to try to cut this ball in no place. Yeah. I see a stone bank shot coming up. Oh, for me, he might be playing a safety. Well, oh, he overcut he that it. ball. He cut it. He cut it without touching the rail. Without the crowd applauds and it's approval, and uh, so does uh, Butera and uh, Johnson having an exchange of words there. And... Uh, I think he said, I'm coming for you, big guy. Here it is. The score is 9-7 to seven now. And, uh, oh, they're having fun. They're talking all that BS to each other. And, uh, anyway, the score now is 9-7 to seven in favor of Butera. And uh, I think, Lou just can't shake this little guy, can he? I think Shorty just walked over to Lou Butera and told him that's how I used to deal with years ago. And Butera answered, I remembered. Yeah. Well, this is a, cla this is a classic finish. matchup. Oldies but goodies here with Shorty and uh, Machine Gun Luke. Look at this. Nine in the corner. No. <laughs> well, he finally got a little action there on that break. And uh, again, Luke safe on the one ball. Anyway, Shorty. This game, I still believe, is going to be interesting. I, I believe this match will still go down to the nitty gritty. Well, Shorty uh, failed to make a ball on the break, but... He also failed to leave uh, Butera much of a shot. Now, Butera has the option to push out here, but uh, with the one hanging right in the jaws, it's yeah, a tough, no, tough to push out. Huh? Yeah, he'll kick out of for sure. Well, he kicked for the one. He hit the ball, and uh, I think he uh, I think he came up with a safety here. Yes, he did. I believe so. <laughs> well, he's, uh, he's jacked up over the five and the seven. He uh, can't quite figure out how he wants to execute this shot here. The one ball is uh, uh, well, this looks appears like a, to be behind the eight there, John. This looks like a one-pocket save. Going to the rail and trying to lead the cue ball where the one is and move the one up by, this, by the two balls that he's shooting over. But there's another shot. There's a oh. scratch. Well, let's see. Butera has finally got a chance to get on the hill here. And uh, the only uh, balls that are even close together are the five and the seven. They're located in the middle of the table by the side pocket there. Uh, Lou is uh, checking them both out right now. But the uh, one's easy. The two is way up the other end of the table. And he'll come down easily for the three in the lower left-hand corner. Four ball is by the side pocket. But uh, from the four to the five is, uh, appears to be the key to winning this game here. Yeah, to win this, this game, it's definitely the, the two key shots. You must get good on the four to get good on that five ball. I'll be honest with you, I don't like the way he, uh, he just got on the screw ball. He looks pretty yeah. straight over here. He does look straight. Well, he had to really force that and pound that ball in, but he's... Uh, but he's it was straight, and now he's got a little problem, be. yeah, to get on his four right to get to the five ball. Well, it looks like uh, he's just going to cinch the Mr. ball. Mr. Grady Matthews just passed us by. Maybe we can get him to say good morning or something. <laughs> professor. The professor is now appearing. Uh, hey. is that not? Yeah, I was just Grady. walking by, fellas. Yeah, this Grady. looks like a great match. Yeah. Oh, this is definitely a great match. If you notice, it's one of the past. One, This is like bringing back 30 years ago or something. Oldies but goodies here. 
Anyway, what what time do you play? I play the next round, 2 o'clock. Oh. Katie's on the winner's side in this uh, tournament. Yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a real gentleman of pool. This is Mr. Grady Matthews. Well, thank you for that nice sentiment. i got to tell you, this reminds me of uh, what Freddie the Beard, Ben of Vagna, told me about one of my one-pocket tournaments. You know what I like about this event? What's that? What's you that? have some entrants who barely have a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks this for stopping great. by, Grady. Good no luck with your match. Killers. All right, thanks. Talk to you guys right. later. And Butera wins game number uh, 17. He takes a 10-7 to 7, uh, lead, John Ervolino. Uh, once again, this is a race to 11, and Butera breaking the balls. Uh, now he appears to be uh, in command of this match. Shorty has to win four in a row to win to escape this one. And uh, anyway, that was nice of Grady to stop by. Grady uh, Matthews is one of the uh, eight gentlemen undefeated in this match, or in this tournament. And uh, uh, He is definitely a character. He's so good for the game. Uh, uh. Six. Well, Butera fails to make a ball again, and uh, this is uh, where Shorty better get on the ball here. Yeah, he can't give him no more chances here. He's got to go out or be out. And he got well, safe behind the three ball. You know, to I, know, uh, I know how important uh, and, you know, the, the momentum is, and, and in your eyes, John Ervolino, you've uh, said it many times before that uh, the balls seem to have eyes and uh, know what's going on and know who's winning. But uh, Shorty just came with a great kick shot and kicked in the two, but he's still not out of the woods. No. Nope. You got to thin this in the side here? Yeah, he'll thin this in the side and try to three wheel it, which he's had. What a and shot. And lucky to hit that ball. And there's a scratch. No, we got away with the scratch. Well, Scott, I predict a safety play here. I don't think that he could get around these balls to get to that five ball. Especially, no, he's going to play a safety here. He's, oh, I think he's going for it. Well, he's going to have one heck of a problem trying to get to that five with that seven and nine there. Well, he tried to, his, uh, with his great vast knowledge of three cushion billiards, to three cushion it underneath the seven and the nine, but he clipped the seven yeah, but and forced the cue ball to stay at the end of the table. Now he's got a tough shot again. Yeah, and he's got to come with it. If he, loses, if he misses this, the match is over. And the match is just about over unless he got lucky, which he, I believe he did behind the six ball. Oh, this has been one of those matches where a strange, strange thing has happened. <laughs> Buterek talks to the crowd. Uh, he, he can't believe that uh, it continues to happen the entire match where he's not getting any shots after a, a miss by Larry Johnson. Here he goes, kicking into the end rail, and he neglected to hit the five. We got action here, John. We have action, Ervolino. Oh, can never get tell. Well, Miserac is still playing his match all the way down there, uh, three door, two doors down. But uh, this new development, the score is ten to seven, and Shorty comes to the table. He pockets a five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a routine out, and this appears like. Uh, He's going to have a chance to only be three games down and breaking the balls. And I mentioned earlier about uh, having uh, nine ball players, the real great ones, uh, have the capability of gaining momentum and winning two or three games in a row. Um, let's see if Shorty can muscle up here and, uh, and uh, call on some of that uh, power from yesteryear and uh, put three games yeah, together here. he would have to bring him back from the past. Either that or he would have to get an awful lot of help from Butera. <laughs> He would definitely need a lot of help from Louie. All right. Boston Shorty shooting the uh, nine ball to uh, win his eighth game. Once again, it's a race to 11. Now the score becomes 10-8. to 8. He says, look out, pal. I'm coming after you. Save it, Lou says. Save it. Oh, we're having fun. They are playing for money. I think they're starting to get a little testy there, man. <laughs> No, nah, they'll, they'll never get testy. Uh, they might go through the motions, but after right. the match, they'll I think they're calling for a timeout here. They're going to take a timeout. And uh, maybe we can get uh, the bowling cam to scan the, the room here, no? All right, yeah. we'll be right back. All 
All right, here we are. We're back in business. We're at uh, Romine's High Pockets in Milwaukee, and the match is between Boston Shorty, Larry Johnson, and Machine Gun Lou Butera. The score is 10-8. to 8. It's a race to 11, and Short Stuff breaks the balls, and uh, he didn't make a ball on the break again. Yeah, he and, uh, fails, fails to pocket the ball, but uh, I believe he left Lou. Lou don't have a shot here. Right? He's, I believe he's snooking behind the one. He has to push out, take the... Which All he right, did. Butera pushes out. Now... Uh, uh, Shorty gets an option to take the shot or give it back. He uh, quickly decides to uh, give the shot back to Butera. Let's see what Machine Gun Lou had in mind. What a shot. He just banked it right in there like it had eyes. And uh, he didn't come up with anything. I'm surprised Shorty gave him that shot because it seems like that was the shot Shorty should have played. No, well, he played a nice safety. He uh, put the two ball on the end rail. When in doubt, leave him on the end rail. And the cue ball he put uh, behind the nine. And but he I, like, has, I he, like Shorty to hit this ball. Just before the side pocket. With what about, uh, what, from the last uh, commentary, I think I'm a Pepsi head of you, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can get even. Double no, 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 we're no, even? you're not. I believe we're, we're definitely even. Okay, shoot. And there's the hit. Oh, we're even now. Just anyway. before the side pocket. How come the, you keep saying we're even? I don't understand. It's like, will <laughs> I ever get a hit? Uh, here we go. Butera at the table. He's got an opening. Let's see if he can close out this match here, John. What's the layout look, out, oh, look it looks like here? Oh, looks good once he gets on our four. If he gets good on his four ball, it well, looks awful There's ball no good. stall in him here, is there? No. He'll draw this ball straight back to get the five in this bottom corner. He'll play the six ball. He got there, too. He might play the six ball right in the corner with so. Yes, which you will. And now he's got yeah, a little a smile bit comes to his face, yeah. I don't know yet. It's still not over until the fat lady sings. He has a little problem getting on the seven ball. I don't know well. if the seven passes the nine to play in this low corner pocket. Oh, Ooh. he forced it over, which was forced a good shot. There. Anyway, the score is 10 to 8. This is uh, Butera's first opportunity to close this match, and it looks like he's going to take advantage of it. Watch out, watch out. Ooh. Ooh. He hit the point, and uh, he still has a good good shot in the 8. This one looks like it's in the book here. Here we go. Butera to move on to the final 16, and he eliminates Boston Shorty. And the score, and the final score is 11 to 8. And Look this is the first ever Senior Players Championship and uh, this uh, event's being played at Romine's High Pockets. It's a ter terrific room in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I think we're going to have a uh, post-game interview. And um, we're going to get Machine Gun Lou to join us here in the booth here, uh, John I'd like Ervelino. To, I'd like to also get uh, a few words from Boston Shorty. He has he's been a great player for many years. <laughs> and uh, like he told me uh, a few minutes ago, he just can't finish no more, which a lot of us have seen to be having that problem. Yeah, I think we're going to get a few words from... From both uh, the players here. Yeah, Larry Johnson, Boston Shorty. Well, Shorty, that was a tough match. And I, like you told me a few minutes ago, it seems like we got the same problem. We can't finish no more. No energy. It, yeah, it sure no wasn't, energy it sure wasn't no 30 more. years ago. Well, uh, in all fairness to you, it, it appeared to me that uh, a lot of times it came up where you didn't have shots when he missed balls. You were hooked but a lot of times. But I had chances and, to win. I yeah. just haven't got the energy. Yeah. I just, well, this is the first time of the senior tour. You're going to make the next couple stops, right? For sure. Uh, we'll get you on a weight training program. You're there, I'll be there. Huh? All right. Hey, what about me? That's fair and enough. Too. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for stopping thanks by. That's Boston Shorty, Shorty Larry Johnson. Uh, a real gentleman yeah. in the game. He uh, finished in the money, and uh, we're going to get uh, Lou Butera over here in just a minute. And, uh... Well, here comes Curly, Mr. Machine Girl, Lou Butera, the winner of this next match. Tell me, Lou, how do you feel, buddy? I feel good. Anytime I win, Johnny, you know how it is. Oh, it's I definitely do. Did that bring any flashbacks to you at all playing Shorty again? Uh, yeah, it, it reminded me what a great bunch of players we had around the country 20, 30 years ago. But let's put it in that 30 year bracket. Don't, don't try to cheat on the edge. Well, you're, you'd remember better than me because you've been around a lot longer, John. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all After right. all those nice things you said about him, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, I could go for some of that. And by the way, is it true what you use for a, a comb in your hair? That you yes. use a handkerchief? I use a handkerchief every day of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just another buy by Mr. Lupia Terror. Do you think you're going to go all the way, though? I feel like I'm playing pretty good. If I could start making a ball on the break, I don't see anybody here that's uh, playing any better well, than me, really. That was part of the part of our uh, observations, too. Yeah. There were six or seven games where yeah. uh, you didn't make a ball on the break. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, told Mr. Scott over here that you're probably the worst breaker in the world, and then I'm second. I thought it was a tie, but I'm convinced you're worse than me. Well, it's, it's close, and we got to bring <laughs> Roberto into this, too, don't forget. Well, good talking to you, Lou. Lots of luck. Well, congratulations. You made it to the final six and this is the first ever senior tour stop and uh, what do you think of this format i love it and i hope uh, we continue to do it i hope we'd have at least one every month yeah i love it what well, uh, the next stop scheduled for may of 96 june of 96 has a tour stop too so uh, hopefully it'll uh, it'll gain momentum and uh, get bigger With and better a little bit of luck and god willing i will be there all right great great to see you lou thanks for have stopping by thank you and uh, this is scott smith we're John Urbellino, and we're signing off from the first-ever Senior Tour Championships for AccuStats Video Productions.